after people saw this week's cover of Time Magazine. Teachers and parents throughout the country said, enough is enough. A cover that suggests that teachers need to be smashed is dead wrong. And that's why over 100,000 people have signed petitions in less than a week asking Time to apologize for its cover. It made us feel as if nothing that we do at school is appreciated by anyone. The librarian wouldn't even put it into the media center. She was so upset by the cover. It's a cheap way to inflame their readers without the full story. An institution such as Time Magazine writing an article about what teachers need without talking to a single teacher is what's wrong. They want to apologize, that would be appropriate. That's what we would teach the children in this country, but maybe they prefer to listen to billionaires. We didn't become teachers to make a profit. We became teachers because we believe in the American dream. We believe that every student deserves an education, an opportunity to be the best they can be. Please apologize that we work very hard every day and we deserve better. We're not in the media, and when we are, it's negative. How about you come into a classroom and we see our success stories every single day? How does that help my students? How does that help the children in my district? It doesn't. It does nothing but further divide us. It does nothing but try to put a wedge in between parents and teachers, community and teachers. Ultimately, we have to debate how to solve it, not how to demonize and not how to destroy. Time Magazine thinks I'm a bad teacher. I'm going to tell you about some of the things I do in my classroom, and you can decide. I make literature come alive in my classroom, turning it into Maycomb County for when we read To Kill a Mockingbird. The discussion that we should be having is, how can we make and help our teachers become more qualified and better educators? How can we help them? I invite Time Magazine to come to my classroom and see what I do every Giving day. teachers better access to teacher education, better teacher training, it's getting parents involved. With our new contract, the UFT, we have built-in parent engagement. Daily, we focus on our 100 plus students. Rather than throw them out and say, okay, how can we help you? How, how can we provide services for you? What can we do? The teachers who every single day make a difference, listen to them as much as you're listening to gazillionaires who have not spent a minute in our classrooms. And that's why we are delivering 100,000 plus petitions and comments to time right now. I felt like I represented that voice of all those teachers who couldn't be here. And I felt really empowering to be able to do that and speak for the voice of a group of people who need to be spoken for.